tell from the title of this video I'm just going to talk you through my March favourites so what I've been loving this past month or the past few weeks and things which I think that you should try so apologies that this is a little bit late but I had a little bit of a mishap with my laptop so everything is just kind of been pushed back a little bit but let's get on with it so first up we have got these hike protein bars from Aldi got in a berry flavour banana and a cacao so basically chocolate i picked these up in aldi probably at the beginning of the month they were about 60p so you know that i'm a massive fan of the grenade carb killer bars but they normally work out at about two pound a bar so i figured i would give these a go from aldi as a cheaper alternative just to see what they were like the macros on them are really, really good. So per bar, they are about 190 calories. All of them are about the same. They weigh like 55 grams, so they're pretty substantial. Um, and they are about three grams of fat, about 25 carbs, and about 11 protein, probably a little bit more, about 12 protein. So really, really good, um, really low in fat. They're basically made up of Things like dates and crispies and like more like a fruity one, you know, a bit similar to like the naked bars. Uh, my favourite one is probably the chocolate one. The banana one can be a little bit synthetic, but it's okay. And then the berry one's just a little bit different. So, um, yeah, they're pretty good. So I recommend that you pick these up, just pop them in your bag as a snack. Or if you get the mid-morning munchies, they're really good. So, yeah, I recommend those. Let's see. Let's keep with the food. So next up, we have got the Morrison's Eat Smart Counted Green Pesto. I told my uh, my group of clients about this probably a couple of weeks ago. I picked it up because pesto can be really high in fat with the olive oil, with the um, pine nuts, with the Parmesan cheese and stuff. But I picked this one up in Morrison's and per portion, which is, I think it's 30 grams. No, 47.5 grams. It is only 85 calories, which is crazy. Like that's so, so low. That's about about a quarter of what a normal uh, portion of pesto would be and you don't even need that much. So how I've been having it is about 15 grams just stirred through my vegetables and stirred through like my chicken and stuff. And just for that tiny amount, it adds so, so much flavor. Um, and it feels like you're not just having a boring meal. So highly recommend this. Next up is another product from Morrison's, another new one, I've not seen this one before. So I think it's brilliant how majority of supermarkets now are doing the things like the corgetti, the butternut squash lasagna sheets, cauliflower rice, broccoli rice, Sainsbury's do like butternut squash waffles or whatever. And I think it's really, really good. They're a great option. Um, just if you want like a lower calorie meal or a lower carb meal. Um, I picked this one up in Morrison's and it is a Moroccan style cauliflower couscous be careful because it's open but there we go as you can see i had a portion of this last night but in a quarter of a pack there's only 37 calories so for this entire pack it's about 160 and it is massive so all it is is like the cauliflower rice um like rice up i don't really know what you call it blitzed up and then in it, it's got like chopped vegetables, like apricots, chickpeas, herbs, spices, and it's so nice. It smells really, really good. And it's just a little bit different, uh, a little bit tastier than just your bog standard cauliflower rice, which I can find a little bit boring. I'm not a massive fan of it. Um, but this one, this one's really nice. So I've been having it with chili, with a tagine. Um, I've been having it, I've been really loving at the moment, having like for lunch, like a plate with loads of different like nibbly bits on so bits of chicken bits of ham bits of hummus like some salad carrot sticks and i've just been having like some of this on the um on the side as well you warm it up so it doesn't need cooking um i've just been putting it in the um so to do it on the hob for like 10 to 15 minutes i've just been portioning it out and whacking it in the microwave for like a minute and it's been absolutely fine um so yeah highly recommend this and it's a pound for this which i think is pretty good value 
My probably random one of the week is, or the month is kiwis. So I've been loving kiwis. I don't know why I haven't had them for so long, but I've been loving having these in my yogurt bowls at the end of the night, just as something a little bit different to berries. In one kiwi, there is, let me get this right, four times as much vitamin C as in an orange. So hitting my micronutrients and vitamins with these little bad boys. So, I always have some form of like fizzy drink in the fridge just to satisfy those sweet cravings throughout the day if I ever need to just go and grab like a little bit of a little glass of something and this month I've been really enjoying the sparkling apple and elderflower spring water from Morrison's again. Great drinks are absolutely fine. I'll link a study down below that shows that there are no adverse effects to having like artificial sweeteners or whatever. Absolutely fine in moderation. Of course if you're going to be having like 10 bottles of these a day plus diet coke plus no sugar, lucasaid etc. Probably not the best for you but a little bit is absolutely fine. A glass a day or whatever. So these are really cheap as well. I think they is it three for a pound or like four for one pound twenty or something like that. But I really like just having some of this in the fridge just to like cure those sweet cravings every now and then. Next up we have a book. So on my list of 30 things to do before 30 is to read 30 books a year. And my good friend Chris Mabbitt surprised me and sent me this book in the post. Chimp Paradox, the mind management um, program. The Mind Management Programme for Confidence, Confidence, Success and Happiness by Professor Steve Peters. So I finished this. This was like my main book for March and <clears throat> oh my god it's absolutely brilliant. When I actually put a photograph of this on Instagram, the number of people that replied and said that they'd read it too and it had a really big effect on them, like I was a bit surprised, like I didn't realise like how popular it actually was. Um, it's basically telling you that you have like two parts to your, well, three parts to your mind. You have like the human part, the chimp mind, and then like the um, like the computer. And it's saying that the chimp deals with like emotions and stuff. So when you get like a uh, irrational thought, um, it's your chimp that's acting, not your human. So you just need to take a step back and like think about what you want to say and how you want to react and stuff. Um, really, really interesting. I highly recommend it. Uh, one of my clients, Shaf, was listening to it at the same time, so we were able to like bounce ideas off, which I think is so useful when you're reading a book, especially like self-help ones and like business ones, is to actually digest the information and talk it over with somebody, so that you actually feel like you're actually getting something out of it, rather than just reading it and forgetting about it the next day. It talks about um, yeah, rational, irrational thinking, emotional thinking, and how you should deal with problems. There's also another line in the book, like I highlight everything. There's like loads of um, highlighting notes, so I need to go back through really and like write those out. But one that really stuck with me is change what can be changed and control what can be controlled. So don't let things that are outside of your control bother you, or don't let them like affect you that much because you can't do anything about them. So just change what you, in yourself, have got the power to change and then deal with that as you can. So I found that really, really useful and a really, really good um, good piece of information. So thank you, Mabbit. This book has changed my life. I really, really love it. I feel like it's going to be one that I'm going to revisit over and over again. My next book is Black Box Thinking by Matthew Said, which my cousin's husband recommended to me. So I ordered it like the next day on Amazon. So... This might be in next month. I don't know, I haven't started it yet. So if you have any books or recommendations, leave them down below. I've got a few lined up ready to read and my Amazon wish list is massive, but I'm always open to new ideas and new thoughts. If there's a book that's really impacted you, you've really enjoyed it, you think I need to read it, send it my way, I'll, um, I'll always be appreciative. Is my exercise of the month. So I got this from a YouTube video, actually. Amanda Bucci Fit, her YouTube channel. She had a training session with Coach PJ, I think his name was. I'll leave his link um, and all his details down below as I found him super, super useful. Um, some of his exercises and ideas, especially on Instagram, have been amazing. Um, and it is the Bottoms Up Kettlebell Press. Um, I'll insert a video here now of one of my clients doing it, just to uh, give you an example. But... I saw him doing it and he was saying that you don't need much weight to really get your like core firing so it's going to impact your core but also like your upper body strength as well. So basically it's the kettlebell upside down and just by that tiny little tweak like turning the kettlebell upside down 
like you can feel your abs and calf firing as the movement is so much more difficult. Um, so I highly recommend giving that one a go. I've done it, a few of my clients have done it and yeah, I've loved it just as something a little bit different this month. I'm always, always looking at um, different trainers and their ideas and how they like to train to see if there's like little things that I can take away and put into not only my plans but like all my clients as well because not one person trains the same way like there's no one method to get you the results that you want like it's all like little bits of everything and I think that's where a lot of trainers fall down is that they'll find like one person that they follow and they'll just implement everything that they're doing rather than they're very like one dimensional and I think you can't be like that especially in the fitness industry I think you've got to like pick and choose and take things from all different um all different like mentors and things like that so I've really enjoyed his stuff this month and especially the bottoms up kettlebell press right I believe that is it for March I believe that's everything that I've been loving this month I've already actually it's like six days into April and I've already started my April favourites list so I can't wait to bring that one to you next month. As always if there's anything that you think I should be trying or you spotted some new products on the market let me know, comment down below, send me a message, I always love to hear from you. If you did like the video if you could give it a thumbs up, comment, like etc I would be so so grateful and yeah until next time I will see you soon.